Hi, I'm Jen Zielinski down here at the Kelowna Farmers Market and it's the first day of the season. And after all the rumblings last year, the vendors have decided to stay put. And it's a good thing too because this year is their 20th anniversary and they've been at this location for about that long. Uh, the membership voted to stay, stay put here even though we don't have tenure, which means we're just leased, we lease year to year. And uh, should we lose that lease, we would be in a, a bit of a pickle. So we're still, we're still looking at, at possibilities for uh, a site that would be, first of all, bigger, still accessible, um, and that would give us a multi-year tenure. The market is also continuing to grow with no prospect of slowing down. There's nearly 200 vendors involved and that means more space is always needed. But John Cox loves to grow from potatoes to the local economy. He's been at the market since the beginning when there was just 12 vendors who sold their goods. For me, having been in this, this gig for 35 years to see young people getting excited about agriculture and uh, the market is an incubator business. It allows people to try new products, new businesses, new ideas in a very economical way. Rain didn't hamper shoppers from buying local on the first day of the market season. In fact, there was a steady stream of supporters happy to be back on the corner of Ben Volen. What's your favorite thing about the farmer's market? Uh, the bouncy house for the kids. The, uh, the weather and the local produce. Just more, more the people and the vendors than anything else. I just moved to Kelowna, so I'm pretty excited about coming to the farmer's market and seeing everything that they have, yeah. The market will be celebrating its 20th anniversary in June with a party and is open now on Wednesdays and Saturdays. For Castanet News, I'm Jen Zielinski.